what is the top five schools of volleyball at this moment in order in the U.S.? Guys and girls? Guys. Oh. Schools, like, what do you mean? Like, to attend or, like, where, like? Overall grade like, of a school. So that incorporates whatever you want it to be. We're like. very biased oh, about this. Volleyball. Okay. Yeah, of course, of course. We're all going to be biased. Number, number one's really easy for me. Um, yeah. sh- okay. I think it's easier to go from one to five than it is from five to one. Anyway, you we'll want. have it. So, it's... I, even also, being there last night, I'm like, I don't know how anybody <laughs> doesn't choose the University of Hawaii, dude. Going there, it's like, where the program's at right now, too, it's like, bro. Yeah. That's like the show on the island right now. And so, it's freaking rocking there. And just the whole experience, being in Hawaii, you're like, dude, it's the best. Yeah. For, like, it was incredible going to school there at that time. And still, at this day, just continuing to build. So, for me, it's easy number one there. I would agree. I would agree. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like, if I had to round my list off, probably start with Queens, then King, St. Francis, uh, St. Bonaventure, and we're going to round it off with Lincoln Memorial University, the safest campus on campus. And those are my top five. Okay. Great schools. I'm my, just kidding. No, number my number five. two, so my number two would be UCLA still, I think. I think it'd be UCLA in terms of his ex- overall experience, location. Um, also, just in terms of like my personal beliefs and like my values and stuff. Like, there's a reason why the the other the number two isn't BYU. I think BYU would be further down the list for me, just because me personally, I uh, don't have a whole lot of interest in going to BYU. Why is that? Being completely on, huh? I'm not. I'm I. First of all don't practice any religion so that's a huge thing it's like there that's a huge basis on like people who go there and stuff and and i think actually that's kind of why and we went to the university my whole family's all university of utah grads and so we grew up just no byu at all you were never allowed to say yeah. their name in our house imagine if we came home gage and we told our dad we we're going to byu <laughs> imagine how that would have gone i got my dad to go on an official visit there showed up in all utah gear to a football oh, game Utes, baby at Bold ucla smooth, too gotten. While I was on my recruiting visit, I was like, real <laughs> slick there, Roger. <laughs> real slick. We know what we know why he and everything. Came. And then he showed up to the UCLA, same thing, official visit. You were playing Utah. He made me choose that date because you guys were playing Utah. Yeah. Showed up to the players' lounge. <laughs> this is UCLA, the day we need to go. All ready. This is Utah. the day. He goes and with my mom and he sits in the and he sits in the fan section for the Utah fans. He like ditched me. He's like, all right, I'm out of this UCLA section. I'm gonna go to the gonna go to the Utah section. Good times. Okay, so two for you is UCLA. Gage for you, who is it? Uh, I would say BYU. Give me a sec. Okay. Who is in that conversation for you, Joe? Who are you going between? BYU and UCLA only? UCLA, wait, wait, BYU. Can I, can I explain why UCLA, BYU? UCLA, BYU. Um, there's a couple in the mix. Uh, Santa Barbara, Long Beach, and Pep. All West Coast. Right, like, right, to right. be honest, I don't know. It's all West but at the same we time, Ohio State and Penn State, yeah, uh, Big Please. Ten schools, Big Ten schools are pretty sick. It is pretty sick there. So it's like there's a lot to choose from, but I still say UCLA at two for volleyball purposes. Um, I would come in at number three whoa, whoa, with whoa, whoa, Long Beach. Wait, we, we sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Wait, can I okay, do number okay, two? Okay. Can I explain hey. why number two, Micah, before? For sure. I would say I would not put UCLA number two for – couple maybe one or a couple i don't know once i start putting my mouth on now but um the biggest one is because i feel like ucla when you when you come on campus and then you can tell me it's easy to get obviously ucla has a big roster right huge roster and you see it and you and they use it a lot you can see the interchangeable parts so i feel like you can get lost and it, it's always been a big culture of a huge team to kind of get interchanged so your replaceability Right, so that's where I feel like, okay, you have you, you had Micah, and you had, um, you had you. I mean, Kofi, uh, and those were the two, like only two solid parts. So then, okay, you then you have your your core. Then you have your how do you say this? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, not the core, but um, a good program, not a program, but what's the word I'm looking for, guys? Surrounding pieces. Surround. No, you have your. 
I don't know. You have you basically have a core of a program. Then, oh yeah, then you have a good program. Okay, then you have a good program. And 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 I don't think it's it was, it was good. I think you and Kofi held it together a lot of the time when you were there. You obviously had other pieces, right? That could that could be changed a lot of time. You saw a lot of guys changing positions, right? And and many guys maybe serve roles off the field, but on the field it was it was you. I in my eyes when you guys were there, I think you guys are the holding piece together. So now when you have, I think nowadays. You have some guys that are mainly there, but now you have a bunch of interchangeable pieces with that big lineup and stuff. So you don't have that much of a core, and you can't keep that together. And that's why I don't think UCLA is – you can get lost up in the machine too easily. I'd put it at number three. Don't get me wrong. And also, I think that UCLA is such a phenomenal campus, and, such, and it holds so many opportunities as a university that it's easy to get caught up in different kind of scenes. In terms in different other opportunities. So, for example, like volleyball is maybe not going my way, right? I remember blah blah on the bench. I'll get this other opportunity. I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna focus more. And you can you can tell me more if I'm not. I'm gonna focus more on that, you know. And there's so many connections at UCLA too. I'm gonna focus more on that. So like you see the fifth guy, three, third, fourth, fifth guys at Hawaii. You know they can go to the beach, but like I feel like they're grinding more to get up. And and you saw firsthand more than I did. I don't know. I could be wrong here. Um and and, and I put BYU number two is because. I put it as the whole environment. The whole town is behind BYU men's volleyball. Everyone's behind BYU. You you have the religion aspect. That's a big turnoff, right? But if you're there for volleyball, and most of the guys are not religious on the team anymore. So I feel like I'm not saying it's the best coaching. I'm not saying, but I feel environment in terms of support and in terms of everyone kind of coming together for one goal. And BYU, like I said, there's not a lot of other stuff to do there. So like that's their main focus, I feel like, as well. And that's why I put BYU number two ahead of UCLA. Long-winded, but I, I kind of – I definitely understand where you're coming from. Because but that could be speculation, heard, though. I, I've definitely heard your argument well, it comes UCLA, too, and, and a lot of them have legitimacy to them. Well, it comes down to are you debating experience or are you debating on, like, your ability to succeed at volleyball? That's what, like – or what are right. we – I think, I think Gage is, like, priorities are going to be ours in some ways, you know? Totally. Like mine is going to be, so I'll go. So if Hawaii's number one, there's a few schools. Do you agree with that? Do you agree with that? Yeah. I would agree with, with some of that, yeah. I don't think I would agree 100%, but a lot of that. With, no, Hawaii number one. Hawaii being number one. Do you yeah, agree yeah, I do. Okay. I do. Sorry, sorry. 100%. Sorry cutting you off. I think Hawaii is for sure number one. Um, two. Is between like you guys said BYU just because the environment volleyball wise is incredible. Like, it's the only place that can rival um, Hawaii. I think you guys would agree with that beach. in terms of yeah. like fans yeah. and just community. For sure. I think it's a little bit more of a niche. Like you see more people transferring out of BYU because it can be a little bit of a hit or miss because of the religious like aspect. But if that's kind of where you're leading your life, then that's an easier to but we're all not as much in that boat. So that's something I think Santa Barbara is legit. I think it's a little bit more lifestyle based. Like the other thing is the volleyball, the program is not supported super well up enough to, to put it at two. So I would agree. UCLA is at two. You see a lot of people, you don't see too many people leave UCLA. That's something we do have a big team, but the people that leave it's they're graduating like Cobran graduated. So he left Chris Orm graduated. So he left. Like, we didn't have anybody leave UCLA because, like you said, honestly, more as a positive, it's like when volleyball isn't your everything, if it's not going well, it's not enough of a reason to leave if you're enjoying your school and your social life and you have a cool group of friends doing skateboarding or whatever that you found. And you just kind of, like, can dive more into that. What's up, Gage? No, no, no. Where are you done? I don't want to cut you off. No, that's pretty much it. Like, I think UCLA is too because – of all the opportunities outside of volleyball. And it's besides the fan base, the volleyball is pretty high level. You're going to be able to gonna have a lot of great players, great coaching, great athletic room and all that kind of equipment, like top level, everything. And also the school is a really great school and you're in LA and it's still sunny. It's not miserable weather and anything like that. So I think it's two. I think it's Hawaii and then UCLA. I would like to change my answer. BYU is not number two. Long Beach is number two. Okay. I put Long Beach summer too, in terms of the, because that whole school is behind again. And they may not have the, I mean, they do have the fan base, but they don't get it like, and they get it packed. 
They don't may not have. I don't know. They do. No, have they the don't have the team. fan base that Hawaii has. Hawaii, no, no, Hawaii, I'm talking about BYU. The whole, no one has a fan base that Hawaii does. But I'm talking about comparing I think, with. Yeah, I think BYU is comparable. With Long Beach. No, with, with Hawaii. Hawaii in terms of. No, like, no, no, yeah, I'm comparing Long Beach to BYU though. I think Long Beach. Oh yeah. No, I think BYU edges out Long Beach for sure. But in terms of coaching, success, growth as a player, you've seen it the most, and just winning like that. I think that's number two for me. Okay. So with BYU, that, number three. that means your three is BYU. BYU is number three, and then okay. UCLA is number four. Oh, you're gonna go number three. three. I have I have a Long Beach at three. I have a Long Beach okay. at three. I would. Oof! Now I have. Long Beach or BYU. I would go. I would go Long Beach as well. They've just been super, like recently, they've been super well coached and like kind of a machine in a way. Yeah. That rivalry, the Long Beach Hawaii rivalry, just continues. The Long to Beach build. Hawaii rivalry has been where it's been at for a while. Honestly, yeah. we've. It's not like UCLA has been out of that as much. Like. Obviously, my junior year, we were involved. My sophomore year, we were trash. We got hurt the whole year. My freshman year, we were involved. And then I left, and then now UCLA is kind of back in it a little bit. So UCLA is not far out of that rivalry, in my opinion. I think it's just, especially in the Big West, you're playing for Big West championships a lot. You're playing a little bit more. Yeah. That also adds to it. Also, the Charlie and um, Alan Knight thing. and just Oh, like- I love that. It, you guys have more, a little bit more fire in those schools than UCLA does. And I think that's something UCLA lacks a little bit is that character of like not having your nose up in the air. And a lot of that comes with the territory. So I think that's yeah. something that that could go against UCLA as well. I think so. What is it? Joe, you go. For four? Mm-hmm. I, I would come with BYU at four. I'd put BYU in four. Uh, because like you said, the fan base, everything, and just in general, I, I, and I think it's more personal than anything of like I wouldn't go to BYU, but I still think it's a really good program, and they have the support, and they have the financial backing, and all this stuff, so it's still like in the top five for sure, but I would put it at four in my personal view. Mikey, for sure BYU, it's like a legitimate school, so yeah. It's a really good school too, academically. It's, academically. And it's beautiful there. It's so yeah. beautiful there. It's clean. So it's clean. So clean. It's so fresh. Like, I really liked. I always enjoyed my visits there. And like, Provo the has a nice little like cute town, and it is. It's, they it's have great food vibe there. For sure, but it's it's really beautiful. Okay. And then for fifth. number five, I would for me, I'd say Santa Barbara. Joe yeah, Micah. My, Mine's so close between Santa Barbara and like a Penn State or an Ohio State. Just I was good. I said Penn. I said Penn State. Actually, have you seen the Penn State? I, I mean, when's the last time you were at Penn State? No, Penn State just as a program though, in general, and like going to school in a Big Ten. Like, did you take a visit to a Big Ten school, Gage? Dude, if you no, took a I visit, you like, State damn, summer. this is freaking sick. Like going to school with Big Ten. That's like, true. Just in the athletic departments there, it's huge. There's so much money in those programs. So you just have like every resource. Um, and currently, a couple years ago, I would have said Ohio State, but right now I would say Penn State, just because they're a little more successful. So I would go, I'd lean towards that way. Um, it's interesting, Ohio State. I was, you know, I think they'll turn. I think Birch will get them turned around, but they just been a little inconsistent over the past couple of years. So Penn State, they, they're older right now, obviously, but I would go Penn State in the fifth slot because they um, do. So- this is just about like preference of lifestyle. Like Santa Barbara is a little bit closer to home for us mm-hmm. in terms of Hawaii, California. Yeah. And Penn State's like, if you're looking for like college, not like a retirement lifestyle of like California beach and surfing and like part different kind of partying. But if you're looking for like that East Coast, like yeah, football right. games, tailgate, like frat kind of thing, then that's also for you. And, and not only that, it's a great program. And has been super su- successful in the past, so it's it, like for me, it's just complete bias. And then for bias reasons, I would go Santa Barbara. I have, my mom's from there. I have a lot of family there. Um, and I guess in my list, it would be a little bit ahead of Penn State, but that's just up to the individual. 
Mm-hmm. All right. So recap it. I have number one Hawaii, number two Long Beach, three BYU, four UCLA, five Santa Barbara. Joe. I have one Hawaii, two UCLA, three Long Beach, four BYU, five Penn State. I have the same as Joe, and my fifth is Santa Barbara. 